Oh, good grief. Take some of the drag power out of this. I just want to see it. Oh my goodness, he might be a catfish. Woo! Come on, just, just, just let me see your face. It's very little, my goodness gracious. What's up guys? Come out to the bayou again today. And what I want to know right now is what could be hiding in that. You can see, you can see an opening on the other side, but only this side connects to the bayou. We've got this deep, deep ditch going straight out towards the bayou. All right, I want to start small. I'm going to start small with some worms on a drop shot around the edges. Work our way up the food chain. See what's small. See what's being eaten. I've had these for a couple of weeks now. I'm just keeping them cool and refrigerated. I mean, they look as good as the day I bought them. Small segment of worm. By the way, the reason I use the scissors instead of just my hands is because you get cleaner breaks on your bait. And I find, you know, when you're trying to keep your bait good for uh, for a number of days or weeks, that does make a difference. It won't make a difference on one day's worth of fishing, but it does make a difference if you're fishing with the same baits over and over and over. It just gives you the absolute maximum usage out of your bait. Also helps keep your hands clean, which makes a difference if you're fishing, you know, an entire day and you're working with camera gear and you don't want smudges on the lenses and all that small worm on a drop shot like i said let's just start on the edge let's not go deep right away just go right right off the corner here oh my god that is so deep that's a good six feet deep right there wow i was thinking this might be two or three feet deep but no if i if i jumped in that i would go all the way under all right, let's have a few throws with this little shad imitator. It's a very capable rod and reel here. Just toss that way back in that tunnel, all the way back in there. Make sure our drag is, yeah, that wouldn't have been too good. It's a huge tunnel. Lure's working quite nice. A lot of mullet in here. There we go. Just gonna let it sink down. I know how deep this is now. Very deep. It's about five or six feet deep in here. At the moment. You know, obviously that's gonna change as the bayou goes up and down, but still, deep, deep water for a tunnel like this. No, oh, guys. As I was pulling the lure out, I think a fish snapped at it. Let's try this again. Oh, oh, that was a bite, that was a bite. Oh, and I missed him. Ah, clearly a fish had that in his mouth. Okay, let's do that again. Son of a gun. What kind of fish are hiding in this tunnel? I might switch to a jig that'll allow me to fish this way. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, there's a fish on. Yes! Look at that. Oh, you greedy fish. You greedy bass hiding in the tunnel. <laughs> Look at that. Just took that, that shad imitation right down his mouth happy with this lure these are great lures I just I don't use these lures or the Stratic St. Croix that I have nearly enough you're gonna see this setup start getting a lot more love on the show but let me show you this guy not a monster but a beautiful fish quite a nice catch let's go ahead and put him back and keep going say goodbye that's where he came from that's where he's going we're gonna have to drop him but <gasps> there's another one right there <gasps> oh I don't 
know if you guys saw it on camera, but there's more bass right beneath our feet. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah. There's one. Oh. Good fish. Good fish. Ah, oh, it's a better one. It's a better one. Yeah, look at him go. He's fighting the fight. Right, I don't have a long-handled net that'll reach him. It's gently. Luckily, I'm using my heavier setup here, 20-pound line on this, so we can lift a Good sized bass, yes, that's a that's a good one. Oh, stop it. I want to get a hold of his mouth before he kicks and loses the hook. Here we go. Just do it on this side. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. That's a good bass. There's some really good fish hiding out in that tunnel, guys. Beautiful bass. Very dark colorations on this bass. This is a big one, or at least a much bigger one than the first catch. So let's go ahead and get him back. Get him back in the water. Oh, and I got one on this one, guys. Oh. I had a line out for sunfish, and a bass took it. A bass took it, and uh, this, this hook is so small that it's a very good chance I'm not going to land this fish because I, I use one of my smaller sunfish hooks for this, and I don't have a net. Get the GoPro on so you guys can at least see the fish if he comes up. Oh, good grief. Take some of the drag power out of this. I just want to see it. Oh my goodness, he might be a catfish. Woo! Come on, just, just, just let me see your face. It's very little, my goodness gracious. Maybe it's a carp. I don't know. I don't think we're going to land this fish because of the size of the hook I'm using and the fact that I didn't bring a net. I was not expecting to catch anything of size on this rod. Oh my goodness. He is just staying down. Staying down. The fact that he's staying so down, so, so far down to the bottom this whole time, makes me think that this is a good sized catfish. Which, you know what? Let's not let's not throw in the towel. Let's try to land this fish. These. Oh oh, what do we got there? What do we got? Yep, catfish. Well, not unexpected. Let's let's try to work them around the bank. There's no reason not to try to land this fish. Oh, there we go. See, I can, oh yeah, I can get right down there to him. As long as he doesn't get in that concrete slab. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish. Oh, what, wait, what species is that? Oh yeah, that to be expected. It's like a channel cat. He's a good one though. Good one. Let's uh, work our way down there. I just kind of left that worm sitting out there thinking that nothing was going to come along. Here's a freak of fish, actually. There you go. Noodled, kind of. Oh, that's a really good fish, actually. Quite pleased with that. Uh, anytime, ooh, there we go. Anytime I can land a decent fish on a really small setup and I'll show you the hook I caught this guy on you'll understand why I'm kind of excited to have a fat channel catfish all right are you guys still rolling you're rolling this whole time <laughs> look at this this is a good fish oh yeah he that was a solid hookup that's one of the reasons I love these eagle claw these eagle claw hooks they are cheap as dirt and for their price, I mean, they, they perform. I mean, that hook just broke. Just broke. That's a size 8 bait holder. Make sure we extract the remaining segment. There it is. Get it all the way out of this poor fish's mouth. Don't want to leave a fish with a hook. Look at that. That's a chunky catfish. Beautiful fish. Ugh. Let's go ahead and get him back. That's where he wants belonged. 
very precarious. Let's go down here to the edge, get a little closer to the water. Slide you off. One more. Perfect. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Scott. There we go. Off he goes. Well, guys, I reckon that'll just about do it. A lot of fun. Uh, not too much fuss, not too much work. Just brought some lures out, threw them back into this tunnel, and got some good fish. Tunnels are structure, they provide everything that fish need. A direct flow of current, a break from that current, a place to find shelter, a place to find food. Don't forget guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video or the channel if you can. Hit that little bell button so you get the constant notifications when I post a new video, you'll be the first to know about it. More is coming, stay tuned and until it's here, I will see you guys later.